Hi everyone, Jason from Maycara here with another Carver Air how-to. And in this one, we're looking at what the Auto Z leveling feature is and how it can be used for our CNC projects. Every Carver Air is equipped with a wired Z probe, which can be loaded in the quick tool changer like any other bit. This probe is used to determine the height or thickness of our stock in order to make setting our origin points and preparing our jobs seamless and easy to do. However, this wire probe can also be used to automatically level our stock too. Let's say that you're working with a piece of material that's a little bowed or warped or not perfectly flat because it's rough cut. If you only determine its height from a single point, then you may get inconsistent machining where the thickness of the stock deviates from the point where the origin was probed. But with Auto Z leveling on the Carvera Air, the wired probe reads the Z height at multiple points then makes a map of your stock to automatically adjust the Z height during the machining process based on the curvature of your stock. Pretty cool, right? This is not only helpful when you're working with a rough piece of material that's not perfectly flat or something like extruded metal that's not perfectly square, but when you're working with thin pieces of material like thin plastics that are common to bowing and warping and thin PCB material which also can start to bow and warp as it sits on a shelf for a long period of time. For all of these instances, auto Z leveling will allow you to machine consistent depths despite the discrepancies that you might have in your stock thickness. So to demonstrate this, I have a coffee mug, which of course is curved, not flat, but the design that I've created is a flat 2D design. And this simple 2D design is just a pocket that's only meant to machine half a millimeter or so into the mug. So if I only probed in a single point of this mug, my design would be missed in the lowest points and plunge too deep and maybe even risk breaking the bit in the highest points of this curved surface. But as I configure and run this job, I can enable auto Z leveling. Here we can set the clearance height, which is how much the probe will lift before moving to the next probing point, and also the number of probing points for the X and Y axes. Basically, the larger the warp or curvature in your stock, the more you want your clearance height to be to ensure that the probe doesn't accidentally collide with your stock or any fixtures that you have. And the more probing points you have, the more accurate the auto leveling will be as it compensates for the curvature in your stock thickness and machines your part. So after probing multiple points, we can see that the Carvera Air is automatically adjusting the Z height during the machining process, despite the fact that the design is just a 2D file. This allows for the pockets in this design to be cut at the same depth across my curved piece of material, in this case, a mug. And that's all there is to it. So there's many circumstances where this might be needed in an extreme circumstance like creating a curved surface like this, or even when you have stock that's very easy to find it to be warped or it's a rough cut piece of material. In any of those cases, the Carvera Air's automatic leveling feature and wired probe allows you to set up all these different materials in a very easy and intuitive way, giving you a higher rate of success for a wide range of projects. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more how-tos and guides on the Make Care channel and wiki site.